last final of the day in the speed skating and it's in the 500 meter sprint two Italians one Colombian and this woman here Yang Ho Cheng from Chinese Taipei that's the quartet the overwhelming favorite Fabriana Arias of Colombia Yang Ho Cheng the dark horse there is the favorite she saw her compatriot crash out in the quarterfinals we also saw Anne and Jackson crash out literally in the semi-final as well and that has paved the way for the two Italians Giulia Bonecchi and Giulia Bongiorno to make their way through to this final and there is Giulia Bonecchi the youngster who's drawn the inside berth and there's her compatriot Giulia Bongiorno but Bonecchi has drawn the inside berth once again here and she's strong and physical has got a good start and she's proved very difficult to dislodge off that top berth as well so Bongiorno who we saw going around there probably dueling with her compatriot for a bronze medal here that would be the perception as Arias continues to just cruise around Colombia so strong in this discipline Paula Segura winning the world championship last year Yessi Pueyo winning the World Games four years ago, but can these Italians do anything about it? What will Yang have to say about it? She's very quietly come through the quarterfinals and the semifinals with a minimum of fuss, and there has been drama and fuss in the women's event, no question about that. But Yang has cruised through that pretty effortlessly. And then it's the two Italians, Bonecchi here. Very physical, and the older Bongiorno, who's picked up the third berth. They've worked well as a partnership, and they've both profited from crashes, both in their quarterfinal and their semifinal. They've been drawn together in the quarters and the semis. Both of those have seen disasters. Both of them have seen the two Italians emerge unscathed. I think the two of them are probably as surprised as anybody that they're both here in this final and one of them guaranteed a medal and as we've seen with the quarterfinals and the semi-final it won't be any different in the final so important to get off to that good start get in front off that first bend and Bonecki in particular has shown a real strength there and Giorno just uh, some last minute adjustment to the wheels making sure everything's clean keeping the friction down to an absolute minimum and we're talking about a sport where a thousandth of a second can be the difference between a medal and going home empty-handed so Fabriana Arias we've seen that she can attack off that first bend as well even if she isn't in first place so we'd expect her to be right on the shoulder of Bonecki may even decide just to attack right at the start and get in front and it'd be interesting to see how Bonecki would respond to that and it'd be interesting to see what Yang from the outside berth will do as well and whether the Italians are able to work as a team but these are our final four in the women's event Interesting, both the women and the men, there is an overwhelming favourite. Simon Albrecht, the German, has looked in a league of his own, quite frankly, in this 500 metre sprint up till now. It would be a big shock if he doesn't win gold. Similarly, Fabriana Arias expected to walk off with the top prize here. So, some nervous moments here as the four skaters just await their official introduction. And as ever, a good crowd have assembled, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the improved weather. It was so cloudy when things began yesterday morning. And the sun broke through the clouds, the clouds dispersed and virtually gone away now. So it's. Uh, Suntan lotion at the ready. Wonderful conditions. A little bit of humidity around. Nothing that is too oppressive. And just a chance for these fans to enjoy world-class speed skating. 
Wroclaw and the 2017 World Games. Well, the countdown really on. The athletes very ready. These last few moments, you just stay in your zone. You know what you want to do tactically. Waiting for that starting gun. All the coaches and the support staff, vital of course for all these athletes, but their job is done now. All that's missing at the moment is Fabriana Arias. Now she can't be far away as Julia Bonecki makes her way out. Looks around and wonders where everybody else is. There is Arias, so she is here. Buongiorno behind her, and then Yang bringing up the rear. Oh, this powerful young Italian, Giulia Bonecchi, draws the inside berth again. Now, can she hold off Arias off that first bend? Will Arias bide her time? It's a fascinating final in prospect with a red hot favourite, but just look at the drama we've had in the women's event. Who knows how this is going to pan out? And now, officially being introduced, young Julia Bonecchi, been very impressive through the quarters and the semis. Gabriana Arias, Arias from Colombia. So strong, the Colombians, right across the board in speed skating. And we've got second athletes from Italy. Please welcome Julia Bongiorno. Julia Bongiorno, getting good applause. Probably the outsider of the quartet. Yang Ho Cheng of Chinese Taipei getting her introduction as well. In many ways, the unknown quantity here. The lady in the uh, outside berth has just progressed effortlessly and smoothly through to this final. Finished second in both her heats. And off we go then. And the two Italians. Working as a tandem again, and Yang it is with the slow start. Arias has tucked in in third place. Bonecchi, this powerfully built teenager, taking him round the bend. Bongiorno tucking in in second place. Yang making a move, and Arias taking her time at the moment. Doesn't look to be too worried or concerned, and they are all locked together. All four athletes in with a really good chance here as we hit the bell. Bonecchi still working in front. She's got Bongiorno for support, and now here comes the Colombian on the inside but she's blocked out there by Bongiorno and here's Yang coming around the outside now Arias has got some real work to do here Bonecki who's led from start to finish can she stay there as well and she does and she wins it handily now I think the second place went to Arias who finished strongly and Bongiorno may well have picked up the bronze what a day for Italy and what a story for Giulia Bonecki stunning stuff she drew the inside berth in all three heats, quarters, semis, and final. She burst off the start. She dominated on the first bend, and she has held the lead from start to finish in all three of her heats. That is a story right there. Well, everybody was looking at Fabriana Arias. When was she going to make her move? She never had a chance. Bonecki shut her down completely here's the start there's Bonecchi and Bongiorno with a really good start as well that was a really good skate from the other Italian Arias didn't look too bothered in third and Yang was just hanging around there as well but Bonecchi confident powerful composed really good discipline around the bends 
Bongiorno helping her out with a bit of support. Now, we thought Arias might make a move there, and that's where she got blocked out quite legally as well by Bongiorno. And that cost her. It also allowed Yang to come back into the mix as well. So Arias is still fighting and struggling here and coming off that last bend. It was a question of whether she could possibly close down the gap, and there was no danger of it whatsoever. Bonecki dominant from start to finish. It's who's got second. It is indeed Arias. I think just a whisker ahead of Bongiorno. But the two Italians find themselves on the podium. Well, what a surprise. Something that's been dominated by the Colombians has been taken over by the Italians here at the World Games in Rotslav 2017. Julia Bonecki taking a thoroughly well-deserved gold in her fastest time as well.